The Sheval Ski Horse is the world's second cloned horse of its kind to be born. The endangered species was produced from DNA that was cryopreserved in 1980, and it was born in February. CBS 8's Abby Black explains how this scientific advancement helps future wildlife conservation. The second clone Shavalski horse has not been officially named, but scientists refer to him as Trey. With the help of the San Diego Zoo Global Frozen Zoo, the birth of this foal gives wildlife researchers hope that cloning can be a viable tool for conservation. <laughs> Galloping through the pasture at Viagen's cloning facility in Texas, the second cloned Shavalski horse is giving hope to restoring genetic diversity. It's really a wonderful story about an amazing species. Dr. Oliver Ryder is the director of conservation genetics at the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance. It's really a new era in managing populations for sustainability and for their long-term persistence. The foal and his genetic twin, Kurt, who was born in 2020, <laughs> are clones produced from skin cells from a male Shavatsky that were crawl preserved more than 40 years ago at the frozen zoo. And these cells were frozen, you know, when Reagan was voted into being president to put things into perspective. Ben Novak is the lead researcher at Revive and Restore, a wildlife conservation nonprofit that assisted in both clones. He describes the incredible experience of meeting Kurt and hopes to meet the second clone soon. This isn't just a neat science experiment. This is something meaningful, you know, to feel him breathe, to watch him run. Researchers say formerly instinct in the wild, nearly all surviving Shavalsky horses are in zoos and related to only 12 born in their native habitats in Central Asia. They also say until the birth of the recent second Shavalsky horse, cloning had only successfully produced a single individual of any endangered species. Both these horses shows us we can go back into the past and potentially clone more of those individuals and completely redo some of the uh, uh, shortcomings of the past century to ensure another you know, few million years of this species on the planet. Kurt has been living at the San Diego Safari Park since 2021 with a mare named Holly. The zoo says the second foal will eventually join Kurt and Holly to learn how to be a wild horse. We are gonna wait for these boys to grow up because they have to become uh, capable of being herd stallions, which is no task for a young fellow. I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.